out as a fall spend unit crew. Only the ones I know. I'll, I'll tell you the fall spends they've done before. You guys can tell me some more. Let's actually collect the infos about that. What do you guys know about the fall spends? I know first one, Landmark got banned during his stream. And then he asked BSG like devs or something and then he got unbanned right away. I remember that one. Relogin required. I've never had that happen. What? Your account has been permanently blocked. For what, dude? Oh, wait, they sent me a, uh... Wait, I got an email. T. <clears throat> Your account has been blocked for violating the user's rights and the limits of the game's use of the license agreement. That game deficit, but he uses three PCs and a Macintosh, so satellites cannot chew through the cut of Bob Lazar's Chicago-style pizza chicken. Thus, he is banned and main account found. <laughs> I, who the f was that? See, this is what I'm curious. I want to know why. I want to know what set it off. I wonder if it's just an automated thing. And the second one was Languar was by somebody. The guy, Languar thought it was a cheater, got banned right away. Not after this raid. Not after this raid. Not after this raid. What? Not after this raid. Fine, Not after this raid. I'm living in Kita's vision. I think I can put my whole body back on before this guy even gets to me. Oh, he's just cheating. Oh, I'm just getting a ban. Okay. But devs unbanned him? That was the second one. And there was another one. Oh. Game devs got by a guy in customs. I remember that one too. Oh, it would be nice if I could find those datas. And and the game dev got angry and just banned the guy who killed him. But it was like exposed somehow. I don't exactly remember how it was exposed. And then he got unbanned because it was just a BSG dev rage ban. Borus. Tweet got banned for after someone posted a clip of him desyncing through a wall and them. He was able to post his pope and got unbanned. Oh, really? I remember the controversy on that one made trade 24k shut down his server because that guy got fall. Oh, I remember that one too. I remember that one too. They had like a whole system or a group of people checking a cheater or nothing, like like in other games. They banned one of the guys who were playing the game, but eventually it was a, just a desync, not actual cheat. And they it was a false ban, and Trey made the whole video about like, sorry about this, and we'll shut down the honor system of their own group. There was a thing like that. DYL hero banned after a video submission to Trey 24 ks anti-cheat discord. I DM'd you a forum post. Okay, let me actually check that.
it was a pretty big thing back then, I remember. So there was one false ban which we had DYL hero got banned after a video submission to Trade24K's anti-cheat discord. So DYL hero is kind of well known streamer as far as I know or YouTuber nowadays. It's also a content creator. Just launched Tarkov after 3 days of not streaming and now I see I got banned. Permanently blocked. Crazy. And DYL hero's perspective. It's gone. I can't watch it. Submitted clip. Maybe I can watch this one though. Yeah, I remember this. I remember watching this. But that kid's upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like that. Look, look. It looks like a cheat, right? Shook. Okay, and then he kills the guy. It's upstairs. Okay, but DYL Hero's perspective, he literally sees him and then starts shooting at the door. It's, it's basically a desync. But surprisingly, there's no ping issue. So desync doesn't really happen because of the ping issue, which is kind of weird. And it was clear that this was just desync and he was obviously falsely banned. I was furious knowing that one of our clips led to a false manual ban after I was assured so many times that these reports would be investigated so far beyond the contents of the clip. I was told time and time again that BSU would never just look at a clip and say that guy's cheating and ban them. They were supposed to look at their stats. They were supposed to cross-reference the logs with the game and with battle. You guys know they don't look at the sent out clips anymore. They don't check out the clips from random users anymore because they only ban people based on the death screen report. So at least I think it's not going to be that much possibility of false bans anymore if you get banned recently. And I'm pretty sure they like unbanned him, right? So once I was aware of this, I reached out to BSG immediately explaining my concerns with the situation and the response that I received was, quote, I can assure you every case is reviewed accordingly, no matter where it's coming from. It's possible that BSG reviewed Dill Hero's account and logs with Battle Eye and found something suspicious enough to ban him, but they were so fast possible to unban too. him and act as if it never happened. <laughs> so they did unban him right away after they talked to Trey. <sighs> Well, yeah, that's another false ban that we know about. And actually, this is one of the reasons why I always tell in my videos that I'm just doing my videos for fun and for entertainment. Usually whenever I, I'm sure it's a 100% cheater. Whenever I am sure. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I don't want any powers like opinions to BSG to tell them that somebody is a cheater. I don't want them to check out my videos really. It was three years ago. <laughs> that is an old, old clip for sure. So this is another false ban that people are thinking it happened. Let's check out the clip on the most replayed part. Right there, I can hear footsteps, so I look over this direction. Okay. Doesn't look sus at all. But he got banned from this clip? I hear him running across. I heard him jump. He peeks me. He's dead. Damn, that was Anything, pretty good shot, though. He's dead. I hear him running across. I heard him jump. He what? peeks me. He's dead. You can barely see that guy. I hear him running across. I heard him jump. He peeks me. Wow. He's dead. Okay. So, luckily enough, we got the perspectives of the two people that I... Okay, I'm going to play it first, full speed, and then we're going to slow it down. All right? But just, just watch this. Interesting. Okay, so the first time I watched this clip, I was like, eh, nothing weird there. The guy just dies. Now we're going to slow it down. Watch this. Why? There was sound. Watch this. You see him right away. Here. There's me sitting there. Oh, 
where'd I go? Oh, I flew out the window. What? There's me sitting there. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, where'd I go? <laughs> We could talk of man. So I guess because of that, he got banned from those clips. Now we're gonna watch it from his buddy's perspective. Oh, le courant est abîmé. J'ai encore oublié de changer ma sic. So here they are moving up. Oh, it happens again. Spider-Man's out the window. Happened again. But this is the Ben part, maybe. The escape from Tarkov.com forum cheater video report mega thread. And this is the guy who posted the clip. And this is his friend who posted the other perspective as well. So if I had to guess, the staff were going through it. They saw the clip, just assumed I was cheating, and then decided to ban the account. Okay, so there was another false ban. So this is why they deleted all the clip submissions to report cheaters, guys. There were false spans because of the clips. As you guys can see, a lot of desync, a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches. That looks like a cheat, but it's not. Actually, it's actually legit people. So because of that, there's no more clip submissions for a cheater report. You can only report cheaters by death screen. You guys all know that, right? Tarkov keeps deleting cheater report options, sacrificing legit players to cheaters. First, we have a launcher. Cheater report option, which is now gone. On the launcher, right top corner, there was a report bug on the drop down. Go to the category and you could have select cheat. Also, there used to be a flea market suspicious trade offers report button, but that's now is gone. As you can see in this picture, copy ID report suspicious offer. Now, you can see there's no ID for the trade offer anymore. There's another thing, which was reporting through Escape from Tarkov official website forums. But if you go in there now, the forum is gone. And also, there's one infamous image I have for myself. Whenever I sent the video, a cheater streamer in game with the IGN and then everything. But their answer was this. Hello, very bad scab. We apologize for the late response. This is due to increased load on game support, which I definitely agree because there's a lot of f***ing cheaters and also a lot of issues in the game. We would like to inform you that support does not handle reports about suspicious players. We apologize for the inconvenience. I can also understand that the support might be not checking out the reports of cheats but only the game bugs and everything else, purchasing the game or the errors on the launcher. However, the last part is where I got a little bit curious about. If you did or not or could not report him, he cannot be reported here and will need to be reported on death screen by you or another player. Furthermore, the anti-cheat takes action even without reports. It is also actively being worked on. If the player is found guilty of such behavior, the account will be suspended anyhow. And now I think there's a lot less false bans. Like the most recent one, the one we have right now, the list of ban list. There are still people mentioning that they got false ban from this, but so it's based on BattleEye or their data accumulated by BSG themselves. I mean, if you're actually innocent, but banned, I'm sorry, but like, and also they did mention they have like an AI anti-cheat thing applied. So I think it's a little bit better. I think there's like a really slight thin chance like percent of a false ban, but who knows. BSG won't like appeal anymore anyways. They don't really answer to the appeals anymore. So yeah, guys, that was the whole video. What do you guys think about the false ban history? It's all old false bans. There are still people mentioning that I got false ban, but they never actually provided the proof. So if you guys say hi, YouTube guys, <laughs> if you guys have any proof that you got false banned, I mean, it's actually really hard to prove yourself you got false ban. It's obvious because like, how would I know? You can send me a 10 minute clip, but how would I know the rest of them that and 10 minutes? That you might have not cheated or cheated. How would I know that? So there's no point of giving me proof if you got false ban or not. But I don't know. You guys can mention, comment what you guys think about the situation of a false ban claims or whatever. 
So do comment about that. If you guys like these kind of informative videos, please leave a like. And also, if you want to check me out on live stream, check out YouTube and Kickstream. Twitch stream also, but Twitch Korea is going to shut down soon, sadly. If you want to check out other videos, check out videos list below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.